Double fetching Dodo, eh? What's that all about? Well, we're going to talk about QMU, which is an emulation and virtualization system. And in the context of this bug, it's being used as virtualization. Specifically, it's being used as a para-virtualized system with respect to the frame buffer video acceleration device, QXL. If you haven't heard the term before, para-virtualization is a concept in virtualization where instead of trying to run a completely unmodified system, you specifically are running an operating system that has been modified to understand that it's running inside of a hypervisor and to take actions to make virtualization easier. In the context of typical customer-facing virtualization systems, that might be as simple as just having a driver that knows how to interact with the virtual hardware, or in the original sort of uh, Zen systems, it would be like having fully customized kernels that knew specifically they're virtualized. As always, when thinking about virtualization, we want to treat a guest operating system as if it's fully attacker controlled. So QMU is one of many operating system applications running on top of a host operating system, and it's trying to keep these guests isolated and the guests want to break out, break into QMU, break into the host operating system. Some additional background here is that the vulnerability has to do with support for SPICE, which is a remote desktop protocol. So it's one of those things that allows you to remotely interact with a system. When using this mechanism, the guest OS can push a cursor command to the QXL system to tell the video driver how to render or where to place the cursor, right? So you're moving around the cursor and you're inside the VM and it tells outside the VM like, hey, the cursor, the mouse has moved here now. So in the hint code that you're going to be looking at, there's a QXL cursor argument, and this is going to be pointing at shared memory. That seems to be one of our words of power. Shared memory that is inside the guest operating system. So the QMU QXL video device is going to be processing and operating on the data that is attacker controlled per the assumptions that the guest is fully compromised, fully attacker controlled data at this location. So you're going to take a look at this code. Again, cursor, treat it like it's acid, treat it like it is shared memory. This code that you're looking at right here is the QMU code. You can see the references to QXL. So this is the hypervisor side code that is going to handle the data that is passed by the attacker. So not too much code here to take a look through. So go ahead and follow the acid flow and find the flaw.